is Stuart Mackay and I'm the captain of RRS Discovery. So I uh, started my cadetship in 2004 and uh, of all places I was, work I was working in a bookmaker's and uh, then I suddenly saw an advert in the paper for Clyde Marine Training and uh, I realised I had to take a different uh, direction in my career and then uh, the following month I started my cadetship at Glasgow College um, and that took me up to 2007 um, and I worked on uh, container vessels, a bulk carrier and a LPG tanker as well. Um, completed my cadetship in 2007 and then had a couple of jobs uh, through Anglo Eastern um, the second of which was uh, an oceanographic research vessel as a second mate so that was based in Italy so that's gave me a, a sort of um, some scientific background which uh, then ultimately led to to my arrival here um, initially working on the James Cook uh, and then I came over to Discovery and uh, I've worked as a third mate, second mate and uh, chief mate on, uh, on both vessels and uh, for the last three years I've been here as captain. We are a special purpose ship, uh, effectively we are a multi-purpose uh, oceanographic research vessel um, with a full complement of 54 people, so 22 of those would be ship's crew. Um, and the remainder uh, scientific uh, personnel and seagoing technicians. Um, so we have uh, uh, engineers, the catering department, um, and uh, deck officers for the navigation, and uh, deck ratings uh, for deployment and recovery of scientific equipment, and as lookouts. Day-to-day -day running of Discovery, um, it's very much a team effort. Um, so. Uh, on the bridge um, of the, the three watchkeepers, the chief mate, the second mate and the third mate. So they carry out the navigation, um, getting the ship to the correct spot um, and uh, sort of setting up on dynamic positioning for, for science. Um, so we, have, we also have the deck ratings sort of, uh, led by the chief petty, chief petty officer, the scientific bosun, uh, and also the chief petty officer deck, the deck bosun. Uh, and they have a team, uh, Petty Officer Science, Petty Officer Deck, and uh, three ABs. Um, and between them, they, uh, they, can, they assist with uh, the, the launching and recovery from deck of a variety of, of scientific equipment. Uh, they also drive the winches so that we can deploy equipment down towards the seabed. Um, and uh, they've got a lot of skill, a lot of experience in, uh, in deploying an all sorts of different uh, types of equipment uh, safely uh, over the side of the ship and then recovering it back uh, to then access the data that the scientists need. Um, they also provide the, the sort of general maintenance and upkeep of, of the, the deck um, around the ship. Uh, we have the catering department as well, um, so led by the purser and uh, the head chef and the chef. Uh, the steward and assistant steward. So between them, they maintain our high standards of uh, of catering provisions, uh, good quality food for a variety of um, uh, of dietary requirements, and also maintaining the sort of cleanliness uh, of the the areas around the ship. Um, so uh, we like to think that we we, we uh, provide a, a good service in the, in this respect. Uh, well, in all respects, really. Uh, but certainly the, the food's always always very welcome by all. Um, but uh, of course, uh, none of that would be possible um, if we didn't have the power to operate uh, uh, machines and uh, equipment around the ship. Uh, so, and that comes uh, comes down to the engineers uh, and their sort of uh, their watchkeeping and their uh, general maintenance and their provision of uh, of power to various parts of the ship. Um, it's very very much. Important. An important aspect of what we do. We couldn't operate if we didn't have the power to do so. Um, so uh, they uh, they provide the power uh, and uh, provide uh, solutions to breakdowns to keep the ship running, to keep the ship operational. Um, and then, of course, we we have the um, seagoing technicians as well. So they're sort of quite specialist uh, knowledge of uh, different types of equipment, um, whether that's moorings or. Uh, sensors or, or if it's uh, um, 
um, coring, for example, or autonomous, autonomous vehicles. Um, we carry a, a group of uh, seagoing technicians with us who, who, who uh, complement uh, the, the deck team in terms of launching and recovering and also uh, acquiring that data. So between these groups, um, we kind of uh, pull together and uh, we, we provide, try to provide the best possible platform that we can in order to, um, to help the scientists get the data that they need. I think the best part of the job is, uh, is seeing that we've uh, delivered the scientific objectives, um, seeing that firsthand uh, with the, the scientists on board. Um, we know that uh, there's an awful lot of planning from many, many different, uh, uh, from, uh, many different areas that goes into a, a scientific expedition. Um, I think uh, seeing that we are delivering, uh, for, like right here, uh, right now, is, uh, that, that always gives us a buzz. Uh, knowing that the scientists are getting the data that they would like, um, is, uh, that's, that's a, a, real, a real plus point for us. Yeah, I think, um, well, you mentioned sort of uh, favourite memories there. I think uh, there was the first time I'd experienced South Georgia was, uh, was a real uh, uh, a wonderful moment. We were sailing up the, the eastern coast of it and there was quite a bit of fog. Uh, you couldn't really see the island, but there was uh, a, an abundance of whales and dolphins and seabirds uh, around the ship, um, probably more than I've ever seen um, at any one time. And we were going into like uh, one of the bays in um, in South on South Georgia uh, to calibrate some equipment, and uh, so we turned in towards the island through the fog, and all of a sudden it, uh, everything just cleared, and we had this perfect image of the island and the glaciers and the wildlife, and it was that was quite a special moment. Um, and uh, yeah, sailing into a crater in the, the South Sandwich Islands as well, an old sort of volcanic crater uh, down at the, the southern end, and sailed past an iceberg at the entrance. That was kind of that was good, uh, good stuff. And the, the scientists really appreciated that as well. And you know, we were uh, we spent half an hour or so just on DP inside this sort of volcanic crater, and uh, then we left. So that that was quite special as well. Um, so certainly, um, if you want to become captain, initially you would need to do a cadetship at college, um, get your officer of the watch ticket, and spend a number of years at, at sea, uh, get enough sea time, and go back study for your chief mate's ticket, and then again uh, get the sea time under your belt, go back uh, to college, study, uh, pass your MCA orals, uh, get your captain's ticket. Um, Similarly, uh, yeah, if uh, if you want to work in the, the engineering department as well, it's uh, yeah similar similar situation. So you spend a period of time at college uh, and uh, get get your engineering officer of the watch ticket. Um, but uh, really, if um, if you want to get to if you want to come to sea, it's a it's a great career, um, especially on a ship like this. Um, and uh, yes, yeah, there's, there's a lot, a lot that it can offer. I suppose the hardest part is being away from family. Um, there's all the life goes on at home um, in a number of ways. So especially for for people with families, but everybody really. Um, there is, uh, you know, the people at home that we um, that, that we leave behind. So being apart from them is is probably the hardest part. I would say. The main aim is to try and keep improving on what we do. I think what we do here on both ships is uh, is pretty good, but the challenge for us is to to, to make small improvements all the time and uh, to try and sort of uh, push us forward to to be becoming known as as the best uh, in uh, in the world. I think that's got to be the challenge, and that comes from you know making small improvements step by step. Um, in addition to that, I would say that the, the challenge is in, uh, in achieving that and uh, marrying that up with our net zero uh, targets and ambitions. That's a, um, uh, that, that's a big challenge at the moment, you know, finding ways to reduce our carbon emissions because being in this uh, sector, in this sort of oceanographic uh, scientific sector, I think we have to be sort of uh, leading the way. In, in that respect, um, across the the more general sort of uh, merchant naval fleet, 
No, I think uh, you know days like this, uh, the weather's lovely, the sun's shining, and uh, you know it's a, it's a, it's a it's a great job. You know, especially with uh, we feel like um, you know there is a sense of of achieving something uh, something uh, positive. You know, we're helping to to uh, understand our and uh, understand the oceans. You know, that's what we're doing, um, bit by bit, cruise by cruise, you know, uh, trip by trip we're understanding the oceans a little bit more and I think that's, uh, that's a pretty cool thing, um, I think.